Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be trying on the brand new, this is the Tom Ford the Black Lacquer Collection. There is an eyeshadow quad so I picked up that and there's also two matte lipsticks as well and I picked up one of those shades. Now also in this collection is the Black Lacquer, that's the fragrance and that has been launched in the US. And then I also saw pictures of a cushion case and also there is, I don't know if it's leather or a faux leather zip case that also comes with that. Now I got these at Smith & Coe's in New Zealand. They're also for sale at Ballantine's in New Zealand as well, that's in the South Island. And this is also available I think in one or two stores over there in Australia. And also about a week ago I purchased one of the Tom Ford, this is the gel eyeliners. This is in the shade Coco, I wear brown or deep brown eyeliners a lot so I'm looking forward to seeing what this is like. I haven't tried it yet. So I've already got some primer on and it's the Sicily. This is the double tensure one and for foundation today I'm going to use, this is the Fairly New, this is the Tom Ford and this is called the Architecture Soft Matte Foundation. This is absolutely beautiful and I did a dedicated video on this not long after it was launched. So I'm just going to go through this very quickly so we can get to the eyeshadow quad and the lipsticks. Through the night See your hearts from the highway Way up high Things are so different now I suppose I should get used to letting go of all I know about your soul So I push on through Going through the motions Nowhere close to your devotion Feel so far but couldn't be standing closer Cause I could write an entire record about you So I went through that all fairly quickly, but as usual, everything that I'm putting on my face today, it will be listed and linked in the description box below. And items that aren't available in the US or elsewhere just yet, I will add a link for you guys later on once it is released. So let's take a look at the eyeshadow first out of the Tom Ford The Black Lacquer Collection. This is the outside packaging, so it just has the black, and then inside it is silver. And then you have the faux suede, the little cover, over the top of the eyeshadow quad. Now, one thing with this eyeshadow quad is that it's not a new color story. This is a repeat color story. And this is the eye color quad. This is number 27. This is Meteoric. Now, the packaging of this is just absolutely beautiful. It is sleek with that. It's supposed to be like that black lacquer finish, and it is really beautiful. You have the Tom Ford logo on the front, and you've also got Tom Ford at the end here. And I'll just show you the outside of the packaging up close. It is really beautiful. I'm trying to hold it so it doesn't reflect too much in the lights in front of me. So here is the color story. It is absolutely beautiful. We've got a champagne sparkle. We've got a lilac sparkle. We've got a nude rose matte. And we've also got a cool bronze, which is a shimmer shade. And also included with the quad is these two. These are the dual end applicators. One has a little brush and then a sponge on the other end. These are actually really good, especially the one that's more pointed. I may use that today. We'll see how we go. I think it was about 2022. I may be wrong there on the year. So this is a re-release just in this really beautiful packaging. So if you've already got this color story, unless you're absolutely in love with the packaging then you don't need to purchase this now this eyeshadow quad is made in italy it has a shelf life of 12 months from date of opening and it has eight grams of product and i also just want to quickly show you what was sent to me from the tom ford people at smith and coe's this isn't part of the collection but this is just something they put in and i wasn't expecting it and it's really cute so it's a faux leather it's a small case 
it has this gold colored zip and it's quite a robust zip too and it fits one of the Tom Ford lipsticks I think it is super cute it's got a little mirror up here and the lipstick just fits perfectly in there so as I was saying it's not part of the collection it's just something that they popped in for me and I think it's really lovely and I'm going to get quite a bit of use out of this it's really gorgeous so let's get into the swatches I'm going from left to right top to bottom so first of all we've got the champagne this is a sparkle and I don't know whether it'll pick it up but this also has it has a touch of lilac in it as well and next we've got it's a lilac sparkle so these are quite sheer and this is a silvery lilac shade I'm just going to go over that again really these are just more of topper shades and next we have a nude rose matte this is a mixture of rose and a soft brown in there feels really beautiful and finally we have a cool bronze shade this is a shimmer and this also is it's got a bit oh, it's a slight cool taupe in it as well and it also has just little silvery shimmers in there as well so I have got a few comparisons here so this is the quad the Tom Ford one this is pretty baby so I'm going to swatch this shade here and this one as well so it's a different formula to this shade in here and this one is that sparkle shade and here is the other shade from pretty baby so it's definitely got more pink in it so next i've got violet sateen and i'll just swatch this shade here so that's from violet sateen and next i've got the eyeshadow quad this is the one forbidden pink and i thought i would swatch this shade here and compare it with the matte in this new one so here is the matte shade from forbidden pink so i'll just go over that again next we've got rose tea so i thought i would swatch the shade here so i'll just swatch it here that's the shade from rose tea so i'll just go over that again so they're in the similar color story this one is probably the closest to this one here and finally i've got rose topaz and i'll swatch the shade here so i'll just swatch that one there so that's quite a bit lighter and quite different so i haven't tried this color story yet from tom ford so i'm really looking forward to seeing what it's like and i just wanted to mention that on the packaging it doesn't mention anything about this being a creme formula so it's probably the same or very similar to the one that was launched in 2022 but because i never purchased that one i sort of can't compare the formulas although the two top shades they are referred to as a sparkle shade and i think there was some thought that it was quite a sheer type of coverage which i expect it to be given that they've just called it a sparkle and i did try to take a photo of the ingredient list on the back of the box but it's silvery writing on black and it just doesn't photograph very well so i'm going to take my reference number 14 and i'm going to go into this matte shade here this is the only matte shade in the quad and i think what i'll do is i'll just run that through the crease and take it up i'll take it up quite high on the brow bone well the formula of the matte feels really beautiful and it's also blending really easily as well now we'll just see if we can build this up a little bit and it definitely is buildable then i'm going to take this on g this is the pencil one i'm just going to stay with this shade and i'm going to run this just on my lower lash line then I'm going to take the reference number 28 and I'm going to go into the shade here. This is the shimmer shade and I'm going to put this in the outer corner. So I'm just packing in some of the shade and then I'll take another brush and if it's needed I'll blend it out a little bit. So I've just got a clean, this is soft fluffy brush and just going to blend that out. And again, the shade performs really well. It's also buildable. 
and the formula just feels feels really creamy now i don't think this is the creme formula but it does feel really really lovely and again i'm going to take the sonia g the pencil one and i'm going to run some of this shade on my lower lash line as well just on the outer third and then just what's left on my Rafa 14 brush when I use the shade here. I'm just going to put a little bit of that just over the rest of my lid. Then I'm just going to use one of the applicators and I'm going to go into this lilac shade here. This is a sparkle one. And I'm going to just put that through here. So this is quite sheer, but I quite like a sparkle. It always looks to me, it gives a really beautiful ethereal look to your eye looks. And this is super pretty. And what I find from the Tom Ford quads is that even though it may be sheer, it just has a light sparkle, they tend to grip really well and last really well through out the day but this is a really pretty shade then i'm just going to flip the applicator over and go into this shade here this is the champagne sparkle one and i'm going to put some of this in the inner corner and then i've just grabbed this is the rafa 13 and i'm just going to go back into this shade here and just add a little bit a little bit more depth in the outer corner well i think that eye look is really gorgeous it's very soft and really wearable so now we'll just take a look at the new tom ford the gel eyeliner and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to swatch it on the back of my hand and leave it there and then towards the end of the video i'll just rub over it with my microfiber cloth and just have a look at its stain power because i haven't tried this yet i'm hoping that it's going to be really good so also included with this is a pencil sharpener and so this is the shade coco so we'll just oh that is buttery buttery soft so i'm just going to leave that there and like i said i'll rub it off soon and it'll give me a good idea of what the stain power is going to be like on this so i'm just going to put on like i normally do with my eyeliners i'm not going to put on a very thick line but that is it is silky smooth going on it's really beautiful So the eyeliner is just absolutely gorgeous. So here is the finished eye look. It is so pretty. What a really pretty soft eye look. And I love how all the different shades performed. The sparkles are like they are to be expected, just a sparkle. The matte and the satin also performed really beautifully, very smooth. Now for blush, I was going to dig out a Tom Ford blush, but then I thought I may as well just use one or two shades here that are in the palette. So I think I'll use this and then I might use either this or that one as a highlight shade. So I'm going to take one of my Chocoholio brushes and go into this matte shade here. and just use that as the blush and it's really beautiful i often do that when i've got an eyeshadow palette out if i think that it's going to perform really well as a blush then i use that as well and i think that looks really pretty and it also just ties the whole look together and then just what's left of my brush i'll just just sweep it up through here as well. And then I think I'll go into the shade here and we'll use that as a highlight. I think it'll work really well since it is just a very light sparkle shade. And it does. It's, it's very soft. 
and very sheer but definitely works as a highlight so now let's take a look at the lipstick there are two shades in this collection these are the matte formula and again in this beautiful sleek black casing and i'm just going to just grab the case that was sent to me with this that i showed you earlier and the lipstick just fits perfectly inside that case so this is going to be really handy so this is shade 100 and as i said it's a matte formula and this is a nude rich brown shade this has three grams of product and this is made in belgium so here is the shade and i'm just going to swatch that on the back of my hand now just for a comparison and i am curious to see i'm going to swatch it against this one this was also released in new zealand and australia a little while ago but as yet hasn't been released in the us and i did a dedicated video on this as well as the tom ford the cream blush and this is the shade plus one now this is a satin matte formula so the formula is a little bit different but i just wanted to see them side by side for a comparison so this is the shade with this collection number 100 the matte formula and this one is the other lipstick so this one here this is the shade plus one and this has got a lot more pink in it and this has a lot more more brown in it now usually the tom ford matte lipstick formula is really nice so let's see what it looks like So that is a really beautiful shade. I thought it might be a little bit too brown for me. I don't normally wear a lot of browns unless they're quite sheer and this has like a lot of depth to it. It's more rich. But I do think that it goes beautiful with the whole look. And the formula of the lipstick, it, even though it's a matte, it felt really creamy going on and it doesn't feel like it's going to dry down and emphasize the lines on my lips. So, so far so good. And I do think the shade is really beautiful. And this swatch of the eyeliner has been on my hand for a little while now. So I'm just gonna give it a really good rub with the microfiber cloth. <laughs> and it's not budging. So it's very creamy going on. And it looks like that it's not going to wear off throughout the day. It's just not budging at all, and it's such a beautiful formula. So I really love the final look. I think it is beautiful. As I said, I hadn't tried this color story before from Tom Ford really gorgeous this shade down here gives enough depth which i really like in an eyeshadow quad and i love these two sparkle shades they are sheer they are more like a topper but as i said they do adhere to the lid really well all the ones that i've tried before have so there's no reason why these wouldn't either and they just give that beautiful twinkle and glimmer to the eye look but still really subtle just absolutely gorgeous and this shade down here it is beautiful this as i was saying it is the only matte and it is really buildable now i think you could get quite a few different eye looks from this quad as well as me using all the four shades today i also think if you just use this by itself with this sparkle over the top I think that would be really gorgeous as well. But if you've already got this color story, then you will not need to buy this unless you really want the packaging of this. And I have to say that the packaging is really beautiful. But if you've already got it in your collection, then you won't need to pick this one up. The new Tom Ford eyeliner. I am very impressed. Now, I really love the new Dior eyeliners that came out, the reformulated ones. I thought they were smooth this is smoother and i didn't think that would be able to happen but it has and it just goes on the dior ones are very smooth as well but this just has that extra ease of putting it on and it is just super smooth and buttery and you saw from the swatch on my hand that these are not going to budge so i think it's pretty safe to say that these are not going to wear or 
transfer around on my eyelids during the day very impressed now i'm not too sure how many shades were brought out i think it might have only been two a black one and this brown one there may have been more but i'm going to go back and have another look these are just gorgeous and highly recommend it i think that the lipstick shade is really lovely and for me this is one that i would wear in my everyday makeup i was a little bit concerned that it might be too brown but i think the shade is just gorgeous now the other shade in this is described as a scarlet red and although i was tempted to pick it up it's really not a shade that i would reach for with my everyday makeup but if you're drawn to those red type of shades then you're going to love the shade in this collection the scarlet red one but this for a nude rich brown i think it is gorgeous so really pleased with all the items that i picked up i think this is a very wearable everyday type of palette and you can smoke it up if you want to or you can even just tone it down and make it more soft but i think the overall look is really pretty so that's it for today's video i would love it if you gave it a like and subscribed and i will see you next time Bye.